So the price is usually a commercial valuation. And um, now a commercial valuation isn't always the valuation an owner has in their head. Um, an owner might have a valuation in their heads from some years past when maybe their business was growing fast and their sector was doing some crazy deals and maybe they had some very high valuations or sometimes an owner might be being unduly generous and you need to challenge them a little bit on that and say, you know, your business is probably worth more like X rather than Y. Um, but most it's done in a commercial valuation, usually based on a multiplier of profits with uh, an adjustment for excess cash or debt that's in the business. So uh, nothing untoward, nothing unusual in that. Um, but it's not always an arm's length negotiation because if, particularly if the employees aren't putting any cash in, it's, it's, it's working out what will work for, the, for the, um, the owner, but also always saying there is a role for HMRC in that, that HMRC, we always, there's always a tax clearance aspect as part of any one of these transactions, but HMRC will obviously ask some hard questions if it looks like that value is overly high and this is just a way of you extracting cash from the business. Um, is it actually a capital transaction or are you just trying to take dividends out, in, through, the, out through the back door? Um, but uh, there's always a way, as, as I'm sure the advisors in the room will know when you're talking about price, when you've got a mismatch of expectations, you've got lots of other tools in your box as well. You can look at um, price adjustment mechanisms that apply post-completion post if the, the business starts performing radically better. You can look at non-embarrassment provisions. You can look at all sorts of bits and pieces to, to try and strike a balance. Um, but ultimately what it comes down to is a price, you try and manage a funding model, which will give you a repayment schedule, and then you have to step back and say to the owner, because that's, that's where it starts and finishes, are you comfortable with this? Would that work for you? And if the answer to that is no, then this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna fly. But if it's yes, then that's when you start looking at, at everything else. But I'd say one of the challenges of the timetable, and it can be a benefit as well, is if you're doing a six month transition, and because, like I say, these tax reliefs were announced in, in March last year, we've had actually some of these transitions that will be over a year we've been working on some of them. And I, the longest one I've worked on was two years actually, that business performance can change. So you can start with a pricing principle up front and actually business forms go up or down or anything can happen in the marketplace. So you do need to poke that price with a stick as part of the process sometimes. Um, and like I say, if there's no agreement on price, there is no deal. Uh, so we usually get stuck in about this as a point of principle pretty early doors. <laughs>